Well, following the Pope's visit with keen interest is Londoner Fiona O'Reilly from Catholic Voices and the Catholic historian Michael Walsh. Uh, welcome to both of you on uh, this historic day. We saw lots and lots of people, thousands of people out. Do you think that uh, London has done the Pope proud with the reception that they've given him? Well, certainly I was down there outside Westminster Abbey when the Pope was arriving to go into Westminster Hall and um, outside the House of Parliament when the Pope was going to Westminster Hall. Uh, and there was great excitement in the crowd. I, I confess, much more than I had expected. When uh, I was afraid that it would be a cool reception in London or a cool reception in the country. And I've been up in Scotland and now I've been down here and it's quite the opposite. And uh, for those people who aren't Catholic, for example, Fiona, explain what the presence of the Pope being in London really means to you. I think there's two things. As a Catholic, the Pope is a spiritual leader. Uh, that means that really in terms of uh, a guiding light, we look to him uh, to give us his view, to give us a perspective, to help us think about how to live well, whether uh, that's us in our personal lives or, or with people of all faiths and none around us. And uh, Michael, in a multi-faith, multicultural city, how important is an occasion like this? Well, of course, the Pope made, in his speech in Westminster Hall, he made reference to the sort of the, the, the multiculturalism of Britain and made uh, a plea, in a sense, for, for toleration of all faiths and, 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 and beliefs, provided they were contradictory to the, the, to the, the, the natural law, the civil law. Um, so it, I think it is quite important. It's been greeted, of course, around the country with a considerable amount of hostility from some people, a surprising amount. But I hope that the Pope's speech in Westminster Hall today will have done something to moderate that. And given the multicultural makeup of the church in London, um, do you think that those comments about um, you know, feeling like the third world when you land at Heathrow go down particularly bad here in London? I think they will go down very badly. Um, I, it's an outrageous comment for, uh, for, for Cardinal Casper to have said. Um, uh, he then promptly dropped out of the visit. I mean, he's one of the people who's best known in London and, uh, and around Britain, and uh, he, he didn't come, I suspect, as a consequence, though illness was given as the reason. And I think just to, to come in there, one of the things that we need to remember about Cardinal Casper is that he is retired. They were comments made in a personal capacity, probably comments we could wish he hadn't made, but uh, both the Vatican and indeed the uh, bishops here have been very clear. This doesn't represent our view of, uh, of the church in the UK and certainly as a Catholic in the UK I think one of the real strengths of the church here is just the huge diversity of ethnicity and nationality that you find. Now, uh, we can see the Westminster Abbey event uh, going on there now. And can, can I ask you, we know that he's here in London today. There's a lot more planned for tomorrow. Do you think there are enough opportunities to see the Pope? I think what's great is that there have been a number of, uh, of Pope Mobile moments so far and there's going to be even more tomorrow. I think that uh, that time as he processes along the mile is going to be just amazing. The images that we're going to see and the chance for people to, to get up close will be great. And then there's the big Hyde Park vigil as well. And there are people coming from all over the country, including my own parish, and we're going to be there and we're really excited. And Some people feel left out. I mean, but London has done rather well out of it. I mean... Uh, the, uh, Wales hasn't been visited at all and <laughs> tomorrow the Pope's got to say something special about Wales and bless a, an icon of St David in Westminster Cathedral. Um, but London has done really rather well as you uh, as Fiona was and suggesting. And one person that's not going to forget it is the mother of eight month old Alice for sure. <laughs> that was a completely a, an entirely new side to the Pope. I had not seen him in that context before kissing babies. Well uh, to you both thank you very much indeed for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you.